it feels like real time. Oh wow! Imagine yeah. That. Mm. So you could go and live a lifetime in someone else's shoes and come back and it'd be like, oh, I spent a day playing the game, but that was great. Yeah. <laughs> so much experience. You come back different. <laughs> yeah, you could. It'd be really cool. I'd live my life as a really black good, female. Though. You could see what yeah. it's like. From like Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> I'd yeah, like, no, it'd be so cool. You could just go and live some random life. Becoming them. And you'd be like, who am I? Like, yeah. am I really this person or is this a game? Yeah. Like, <gasps> is this life a game? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit, yeah. Because maybe, maybe it gets to a point in the game as this, what, well, me? Yeah. <laughs> as this African American, no, well, Brazilian girl. Yeah. And I'm like, I discover the game. Yeah. And just out of like, it's been years I've been in it in the simulation, yeah. right? And like, it comes back to me that like, I'm yeah. playing this game. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, like, it's been 10 years, but I'm playing this yeah. game. I'm going to put it in. Yeah. I remember it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I go another, I go another level yeah. and I'm someone else. And yeah. now I don't know who the fuck I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way well, too so, deep. Like, every time that you realise that you're in a game, it switches you to a new person. No, as in when you realise you're in a game, you want to play the game oh, in your oh, so you're, then you're, you find the game, you're you put it on a PC. You're inceptioning the game, yeah. so inside the game you're playing the game again and you're and another And you lose person. yourself yeah. entirely. Because it's been ten years each time or something. Yeah, and each When time, you actually get to the point yeah, where you want to play it. The amount of time you've been playing it gets shorter and shorter in real time, but it feels longer and longer. So an hour in real time is ten years in the game, but it feels like ten years. Okay, an hour or ten years, because you can spend a whole day doing yeah. one person's life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, so I spent nine so, hours, I'm a 90-year-old. Yeah, and you've just died. But you, by that point, you wouldn't have got to the end, because by the time you were, like, 30 or whatever, you wanted to play this game, so you sat down and you played this game. So then an hour in that reality then becomes ten years in the new reality. <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, and people were dying yeah, because Yeah, because you end up years. doing it every time you have a new life. Every time you put it on again, you're a new person, then you do it again and you yeah. put it on again. And they've like and we've time, got we've got yeah. millions of people lost yeah, in the simulation. Literally, and we can't get them out. Yeah. <laughs> they're in too deep. <laughs> they only went five deep. <laughs> now they're fucked. <laughs> they're like five hundred. Uh, I'd have to make it that in the realities it was impossible to play the game. Yeah, it was. Until they like felt it was a glitch Until, the or maybe they, or they someone thought, hacks it so that it makes it yeah, possible because we're in a probably it's a black mirror kind of era isn't it because we're in a year that's not too far away from us we could probably do it maybe I don't know it's so hard to predict though so hard to predict because you never know what new innovations might come about that you've never thought of but simulation is insane Sim- yeah reach. yeah also I'm almost positive that in the next like a hundred years that they will have like sex dolls everywhere like not just dolls robots I mean <laughs> like, I thought you just meant lovely sex dolls no, in a convenience no, store no. well they will be that people just humping it every yeah. now and then <laughs> what, oh, that one, fucking sex doll a communal one yeah. why are they everywhere no no I just mean, walking around fucking I mean, them <laughs> sex robots not sex dolls so yeah strippers well no just sex robots like personal prostitutes sex will robot. be sex robots yeah they wouldn't need prostitutes because they'd be sex robots but what you could buy but I mean like yeah people would have them in so their no basement. one would marry women they'd just be and marrying no, I don't sex think robots that, no well I hope not <laughs> <laughs> if I have any faith mm. which I hope is not that large a number of people that but is literally if um, Pornhub got with um, some sort of like robotics company no, the, I mean used all the money from the porn industry in, yeah, as I a watched, whole to yeah. make this thing if it's too realistic, then we're too close it's to that. It's fucking weird. No, honestly, and in this, yeah, and then uh, they also they looked at like that sky, by the way. Yeah, Jesus it's beautiful. It is, um, um, let's just explain it for a second. It's from the top. It is the darkest blue. Yeah. And then it gradually keeps going down into greeny until, yellow. Or it hits baby blue first. And yeah. If you look and then over it goes there, green. where kind of like that star is just shining perfectly. Yeah. Then it starts to go kind of green orange. Yeah. And it finishes really? on a very pastel red. Yeah, it's kind of an orangey red. And then black. Um, okay, sex doll. <laughs> okay, sex doll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god, they do, they're do. they doing a new one called the, the Sex Robots Are Coming. I told you! <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Sex they're robots. coming. <laughs> They're coming in numbers, or like, is it gangs? Okay, or? right. This this actually isn't Whole army the guy. of sex dolls. <laughs> look at his sex doll. Oh my god! <laughs> Let me look. Hang on. It's creepy as fuck. Oh mm-hmm. fuck! It looks real, doesn't it? Zoom in. The face it's giveaway. <laughs> yeah. No, but the one the guy had that I saw looks less fake than that face. And it, she had like 
black hair. Um, oh, fuck. Yeah. He's just posing next to it. Yeah. Just like, no, I got no issues. Like, look at me and my sex doll. We're having a chat. Yeah, we never do really talk that much, do Wait, we? Mainly it, fuck. It's like talking to a real girl. Oh, yeah, no, it's it? not. Because it? girls can talk back. He's what got the a very fuck? skewed imagination. I don't, yeah. Just. Oh. It's wrong. If that's on it, no. But honestly, if that's what he wants from a woman, then let him have the sex doll because no woman should be with him. That's awful. That's how it probably will be treated. Yeah. Everyone has one. No, that's what I'm saying. So it's actually a good thing because it means all of those gross guys who only want like a girl to not talk they to them back. They would never. They would never procreate. Yeah, they'd so never they'd procreate. They'd wipe them out. Yeah, exactly. And or, they'd just be in their basement all time, all the time, fucking their sex doll, and they wouldn't be out in the real world causing any harm. Would that be a shortage of men? <laughs> I really so hope it, not. Like, <laughs> I really hope not. It would be like competitive be to test. find a man. This would be the test though, wouldn't it? Be how many men actually don't just retreat to their basement with their sex dolls. I hope it wouldn't what be more than half. What if every species got to that point where they've got so clever they could recreate the opposite sex and they all go extinct? <laughs> mm-hmm.